Alright, how's it going? This is uh, S. Dobbins, Dead Man of Elraz again. Uh, I'm going to do a quick little video tutorial of how to solder. Um, this is in uh, regards to uh, my good buddy uh, Riptide's written tutorial that he has on uh, Airsoft Retreat. Um, so what what I'm going to be doing here is just adding Dean's plug to a homemade MOSFET setup that I have. So first thing I'm going to want to do here is strip my wires. Try not to strip a real lot for Dean's plugs. Um, now, when it comes to soldering iron and everything, um, for Dean's plugs, you want something that's pretty hot. Uh, you'll spend all day trying to trying to heat these things up enough, and at that point, you want to just kind of flash the solder real hot and get it to stick. Um, you know, but the main thing with soldering is that you want to have a liquid solder on on the piece that you're soldering on to the piece that you're soldering to so you don't get what's called a cold solder joint which is this is hot and it sticks to the top layer of the solder but you can still peel it off um, so as far as like uh, soldering iron again before you turn it on if your tips real dirty clean it with a little bit of a uh, real fine sandpaper or something before it's on and then always have a, a wet sponge um, to keep your tip clean you'll save yourself uh, tips and uh, aggravation too when trying to do it um, so I do have to put shrink tubing on this, but I'm going to put that on after I tin these wires. So why bother uh, risking shrinking the shrink wrap already? So, so what? Uh, first things first is tin the tip, get a good gob of solder on there, and set that right on top of the wire and let it let it heat right up. The solder is going to act like a going to allow the heat to flow from the iron onto the wires better. Now this is a reused Dean's plug here but I am going to, I'm just uh, you know, I'm going to re-tin the tips here, the prongs on it. So I got a nice fresh bit of solder to, to stick the new wires to. There we go. Wipe the tip off. Make sure these guys are kind of cold here. I don't want to shrink them ahead of time. Now I know this is going to be my positive here. I got it marked. I definitely recommend one of these little third hand tools. You can get them at Radio Shack or uh, online for 10 bucks, 12 bucks, anyways, and they're fantastic. Alright, so the Deans. The positive is always this flat one here, as stated in a uh, Riptide's re tutorial. So I'm going to want to melt the melt the solder on the wire first to get it transferring the heat, and then you'll see it once it melts the, the solder on the prong of the Dean's plug. Hold it there for a second till it sets up, and good to go. Now I prefer you can to get the shrink tubing on these first um, no big whoop if you do or not but when you're doing a battery it's it's a good idea so that way you don't have any risk of, of touching this one to the other guy let's see I got a, a little bit more solder on the back side of this here flow all the way to the other side there we go. so now that's nice and hot And get it melted. There we go. I can see the solder on the Dean's plug. Turn the liquid, and there we go. They're on there. Get my other piece of shrink tubing on, and use a heat gun or a hair dryer, or you can use a lighter. Um, as long as you're not doing anything electrical, you don't wouldn't want to shrink wrap a MOSFET with a lighter. Um, but you know, pretty much. Uh, it's about it. You know, any other any other questions or anything or any other tutorials you want to see, uh, feel free to uh, rate this rate this video and uh, leave a reply. Thanks.